Hello there, my name is Taz Scottix. I am the founder, owner, whatever you want to call it, of the Portal Nightclub in Minecraft. And today I'm going to make the, uh, whatever, you, whatever you want to call this, the little intro video on just how to join it, what it is, how do you, what even is Minecraft for those who don't know. Uh, I put the timestamps down below in the video description for specifics if you're just looking for how to install the resource pack, what is, you know, Portal Nightclub, how to get the audio. Um, because this is just one video that covers all, everything from the start to the beginning. Um, starting from the very beginning, let me just say that this is not a video that you might need to see if you already have Minecraft. If you've played Minecraft on the PC, you can skip a little bit forward in the video via the timestamps if that's what you want to do. Getting started though, if you don't know what Minecraft even is or what Portal Nightclub is, this video will be one that you could watch the whole thing, basically. Um, getting started, what is Minecraft? Minecraft is a game, a video game, that spans multiple different platforms from PC to console, uh, even mobile devices, and it is a free-to-play um, game. Well, it's not free, you have to buy it, but once you're in it, you're free to do whatever you want. It's a sandbox game. You can make your own world, you can build stuff, you can join servers, which are what other people make, um, and you can join and play with other people, multiplayer. Um, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if you want to come into Portal Nightclub, you need to go through Minecraft because Minecraft, Portal Nightclub is a Minecraft server, basically. It's a multiplayer Minecraft server. So, if you want to play Portal Nightclub, you say, okay, let's go to Portal Nightclub tonight. Um, what you need to do is you need to have a Minecraft account, a Java based Minecraft account. Now, in order to do that, if you don't have it, you go here, minecraft.net, you just type that in, and the first thing you're going to see is this big green button right here that says get Minecraft. Click that. Now, once you do it, this is important. You need to make sure that you click computer. Let me reiterate this again. You cannot join Portal Mic Club from any of the other Minecrafts besides the computer edition. Not the, not the console edition, not the mobile edition, none of that. Next, what you do is you need to pick your platform for your computer. I have a Windows computer. If you had a Mac, you would click here. Um, or Linux, uh, but PC is for Windows, so I'm going to click here. Now, this is extremely important. You have to make sure you use Java Edition. This is a Java Edition Minecraft server. It can only be accessed if you use Java Edition, which is the main Minecraft version. The Windows 10 one is the watered down one that is not the Java edition. So if you have Minecraft, it's most likely the Java edition if it is on PC. Um, so you're definitely going to want to buy that if that's what you're trying to do with it. Now if you wanted to buy Minecraft, obviously it's 26 bucks, and what you do from there, you buy it, um, then you would come back in, you would sign in, you'd make a Minecraft account, and you would go to the downloads page and you would download Minecraft and install it. I'm not going to cover that part of the video, There's or that part of the process. There's hundreds of other videos that you could find online about how to do that. Um, it's extremely easy. You just follow the steps. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do to help you with that. But once you, um, let me just say there's other ways to buy Minecraft, like uh, this site right here, uh, igvault.com. You can buy uh, Minecraft Java Edition MC um, for like $8. They're used accounts. Um, I'm not encouraging or saying you have to do this. I personally uh, bought Minecraft from Minecraft.net, but there are a bunch of people selling Minecraft accounts on eBay. Um, a bunch of like key codes that you could put into Minecraft to redeem it. Um, like you could buy a key code. It might be cheaper. Um, so yeah. So that's the first step is getting Minecraft. Now once you have a Minecraft Java account, you are going to need to download Minecraft and install it on your computer. Um, like I said before, I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I already have that done. But basically you would log in, you would click download and you would download Minecraft and once it downloads, you would click it on Chrome or run it and it would install onto your computer. Now let's get to this point right here. You've installed Minecraft on your computer to where if you go here, or however you open apps, you can open Minecraft. This is what you're going to see when you first open Minecraft. It's going to say latest release. 
you're going to have to log in first. You log into your Mojang account, which you bought Minecraft with. Mine's DJ Tasconics, as you can see up here. Now what we need to do is we need to switch to version 1.13.2. That is the server version that Portal Nightclub is running on, and you have to use that specific version. Now how you're going to do this is you're going to go to Installations right here. Follow my mouse. You're going to click New. You're going to name it. You can name it literally anything. Let's just call ours Portal. Um, and then right here, this is important, where it says version, you click here, the little drop down, scroll down a little bit to 1.13.2, release 1.13.2. You're not going to have these in yours, these are just my hacked clients, but 1.13.2 is what you'll see. Now here's a little pro tip that I do, I'm not saying you have to do this, but it's something that I do and most Windows users do, is you need to come here under JVM arguments and you need to select all this and you need to put the Java argument that is for whatever half of your computer's RAM is. Um, so you could just leave this if you don't you don't have to do this. I'm just saying that it's something that I would recommend if you feel comfortable copying and pasting a piece of code in there like that that will be linked in the description and that's just giving Minecraft more RAM to be able to operate on. So I'm giving it four gigabytes. You can literally give it however many you want just by changing this. Um, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work right for you, you just hit reset and you don't have to use that at all. Just that's completely optional and you could Google to learn more about that. Um, but once you did that, you're gonna hit create and you're gonna come, it's gonna be in your installations folder. You're gonna go to installations and you're gonna see it, portal or whatever you named it, and you're gonna get click play. Now what it's going to do from this point is it's going to download that Minecraft 1.13.2. Since I already have it downloaded, it's going to go instantaneous for me. But for you, it might stay on that other Minecraft launcher for a little bit longer and install the 1.13.2 version, and then it will load up. It's going to take a little bit to get your game set up before you hop into Portal Nightclub, so just be aware of that and give it some time. But once you get to this screen right here, you have successfully launched Minecraft. Now what we need to do from this point is we want to make sure your settings are going to give you the best performance in Portal. Um, so what we can do here is go to options and I'm going to go through some settings that will make your game less prone to lag. Now if you have an, a 22080 Ti and an i9 you don't really have to do this. It's only if you're playing like how most people are on a laptop or not the strongest gaming computer this will help you. Make sure Everything is set on its minimalistic settings. Graphics is on fast, smooth lighting on minimum, V-Sync off. We want to take brightness and we want to put that on moody to make it more um, thematic in the club. We could leave all this alone. Render distance, we could turn this down to eight. You could even go a little bit lower if you want. Make sure your frame rate is not capping somewhere low. Turn it to unlimited. You can leave all this stuff, you can uh, make sure clouds are fast, and you can use particles on all, um, or you can even put it on decreased, uh, but you definitely don't want it on um, off, which would be minimal, because we use a lot of particles for the effects in Portal. Um, yeah, so I, I keep it on all, you shouldn't, I wouldn't touch that if I were you, but that's just because Portal uses particles. If your game is, if you're playing on a really old computer, something that's very, very prone to lag, it's not a good computer, then you probably should turn particles onto minimal. The next thing that we're going to do is install and turn on the server resource pack needed for Portal Nightclub. Now, what is a resource pack, you might ask? A resource pack is a downloadable folder of textures and code that servers can use, anyone could use, you can download resource packs to change the look of the default Minecraft game. We have a custom one here at Portal Nightclub, and before every event we upload the different artists' visuals into the pack. Um, that way you can see it on the, our custom screen that we have behind the DJ booth. So in order to come in and experience Portal Nightclub, you 100% have to download and install the resource pack. So just to show you the resource pack to get to that folder and how to install it, you go to options, resource pack, and you see there's no available resource packs. The left side is what you have available. 
the right side is what you have enabled. So what I want to do is I want to click right here, open resource pack folder. And what that's going to do is it's going to open the direct folder to where your resource packs are to be stored. Um, so now we have to download the resource pack for the server. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to portalnightclub.com. going to click how to connect. And right here, there will be a big button somewhere on the page um, that says click here to download the latest resource pack. Now, if you are watching this video before our first event, the infected base, do not do this step. Do not try to connect to the server. Do not download the latest resource pack until the day of the event. This is extremely important. The We change the resource pack in this link. This is just a test one I put in here for the video. See how it says portal pack zero? It's going to say one for the day of the show, which is going to have the updated pack with all the visuals and um, everything for all the artists. So if you're watching this on the day of the show to connect the thing, you're going to do these steps. You're going to download this and it's going to say portal pack one and nothing changes. It's the exact same steps to follow because it's the resource pack. It's just the new refreshed the resource pack for the show. Um, and between shows on Portal Nightclub, not between days of shows. So this is a two day show that we have for the first show. You don't have to do this between the two days of the show, but between this first show and the next show in a week or two, you do have to come here again, delete the old resource pack from the folder, delete it out of here. Um, like if this was a resource pack, right click and delete it and download the new one and drag it to the, uh, that folder. Um, so basically we have to put the resource pack in the resource packs folder and um, you get to the resource packs folder by clicking here as I showed you earlier. Now for a Windows computer you can leave the resource pack as a zip file. This is a zip file. You can just leave it as the zip file. If you're doing this on a Mac computer and you go to the .minecraft resource pack that you get to here um, you have to extract the zip by going right click and extract the zip. It's different on everyone's extraction things. Um, you don't have to use WinRAR. You can do whatever, but you have to extract the zip into a folder like this where it's not zipped, but it's still the resource pack. Um, and then you don't need the zip anymore. And for a Windows, you can you don't have to have it zipped either. You can have it as a folder like this. Um, it doesn't it doesn't matter, but you you can do whatever. If, if I'm not making sense of this, there's hundreds and hundreds of other just generic videos how to install a resource pack. The key is you download ours from this website, portalnightclub.com slash connect, um, and then you install it in Minecraft through how I've showed you guys or through other methods. Uh, click done, go back to resource packs to upload it, uh, update it, and you see right here, this now it's an available resource pack. You click this little play button right here, it's going to move it over to the right side, and you're going to click done. Now when I click done, it's going to freeze up a little bit, it's not going to go quick, it's installing the resource pack, and it's even going to take longer for you guys because the resource pack is going to be about three to four times as large on the day of the show. Um, but eventually you'll get to this, this screen. Your computer might freeze up for a minute or two, just hands off, let it install the resource pack, um, and we're done. Now to connect to the server, um, which is the next step, what you're going to do once you're on this screen, you have all your settings right, you're in Minecraft 1.13.2 as you can see down here, and the resource pack is enabled, installed and enabled, you click multiplayer. Um, I already have a bunch of servers, and if you have played Minecraft before, this makes sense to you. Um, but yours won't look like this if you're a brand new player, yours will have no servers, It'll just be an empty, uh, there won't be anything here. Regardless, the steps are not different. You click Add Server. You could make the server name whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter. Server address, you type join portal nightclub.com. That's the server IP to join. Always join.portalnightclub.com. Um, you could leave this on, you don't have to touch this because we are installing the resource pack manually due to its size. Um, and then you hit done. Now, since I have a bunch of servers, you're not going to, it's not popping up here. Um, 
it's not going to be at the top for me because it always goes to the bottom. So if you have other servers, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. But if not, it's going to be what pops up the only thing on your list, um, especially if you're brand new to Minecraft. So what you do is you just click here, you click join, or you double click it, and it's just going to bring you into the server. There we go. We are into the server. Um, now you guys will be spawning uh, in here, probably. Um, yeah. And uh, so yeah, so once you spawn into the server, you have to walk through the, uh, the hallway into the uh, back room, which this is the big club room. Now obviously I mean, we have tons of details, restrooms, you know, bars and stuff to hang out in or whatever. Uh, we have another room over here that will be used at a later date. Um, not for this show. A uh, little merch table. You know, I'm not going to do a whole club tour because that's not the purpose of this video. There's the upper deck right here. Um, but as you can see, most importantly, the uh, the resource pack works. You see the visuals. You see uh, the sub wall. Um, you know what I mean? So the, the resource pack is good. Just to make sure, once again, um, if you want to make sure you have it enabled, you click options resource pack and you will see it enabled over here on the right hand side now if for some reason you are not able to install the resource pack there is um, countless other tutorials and videos and troubleshooting things that you could try um, I know Mac is a little bit more touchy than Windows because um, Windows you could just drop the zip file in there and it works fine um, but for Mac We've tried that and it's been a little bit touchy, um, but it will work. I mean, it works. You might just have to restart your Minecraft, in which case you would just exit out and do the exact same steps from earlier in the video where you just start Minecraft up again and it should work. Um, no matter what, the, you need to conceptually import, download the resource pack, put it in this folder, wherever this button leads to on your computer, put it in that folder and then enable it by clicking this button when it's over here to put it over here and then click done wait a few seconds and then we're gonna be over here to where you know it's up there and all that so now that we have the resource pack on in one way or another you installed it you put the you, everything's good you know what I mean you installed the resource pack you're ready to rock and roll you might want to know now, um, now what do I do? How do I get to the audio? I see people in the club. I see the DJ up there. It's 5.30. I know Tasconic's supposed to be playing. He's up there. How do I hear the audio? And let me explain to you how this works. There is no audio in the Minecraft game for you to hear. For you to hear the audio, you need to go to portalnightclub.com on the homepage and scroll down. When you do that, you're going to see all of our streams at the bottom of the homepage. And obviously we're offline at the filming of this video, but we're going to be online streaming during the event. Now what you want to do is you're just going to want to hit play right here, and it's going to start streaming the Twitch stream. And you're going to see on the Twitch stream, it's going to be video from inside the nightclub with the audio attached to it, because I'm going to be streaming from inside the nightclub and the audio from the DJs just through the Streamlabs OBS, um, like how you'd stream to Twitch. So basically, now you're going to hear the audio as long as you have the audio on, your computer on. So that's going to be, your audio is going to be good now. And what you want to do now is you just want to minimize this, put it in the background. And now you will hear the audio while you can stay in the Minecraft game because it's minimized behind you. And you can just dance around and do whatever in the Minecraft while you hear the audio just like everyone else. And for all the people who aren't playing in the server and who don't have Minecraft, they get to hear and see from inside the club by doing the exact same thing, except they're watching the stream while you're just listening to the stream and watching Minecraft. Now, if Twitch isn't your thing, we're going to also be streaming to YouTube. So you can click right here to open our YouTube where we will be streaming to. Or you can go back here and you can click here and you'll open our Facebook where we'll also have links to where we're streaming to, um, etc. Basically, in short, you're just getting a stream open, any stream. There's going to be a ton of audio streams all streaming the same stuff. 
You want to make sure you can hear the audio, minimize it, put it in the background, and play the game like that, and the audio is running through your web browser. That's how that works. That's all for me, guys. I'm Tasconix. If you have any questions or are having any difficulties, um, feel free to hit me up or um, any of the Portal Nightclub socials. Uh, you could submit a contact request on the website, or you could just DM uh, the Instagram, the Facebook, uh, the Twitter, anything that has Portal on it, and I'll try to help you out as soon as possible. But please, please, please um, make sure you watch this video, read all the text that we put, all the links that we put for the official tutorials for Minecraft themselves, and some other helpful links. Um, try everything in your power to figure it out before coming to us because we already have a ton of stuff to worry about with the artists um, and this and that. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching this video. And, you know, that's basically it for me. See you guys at the function.